everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma aka Flares and today I'm going to be talking to you all about the storefronts. These are an amazing item that were added in the 2.0 update and you can get them from your nooks cranny. They come in a variety of colours so don't forget to take a trip to Cyrus to see what other options there are but I just love how rustic and farmy they feel and they're a great thing to use to build buildings with which sounds a bit funny but yeah um build buildings yeah so that's what I'm gonna go through today I've come up with 10 different ways that you guys can use these items and incorporate them in your builds we're saying goodbye to simple panels and hello to storefronts so that's what I'm gonna try and show you today just to give you some inspiration if you like the sound of that please be sure to stay tuned and we'll get started so here we have my first build. This was very much inspired by like a coastal town and I really wanted to kind of do like a bit of a fishing area and that was mainly because of the blue colorization on the storefront. I really, really like that color and with the white, they just look great and nothing screams nautical more than this. So I thought about doing like a little fishing shack. Um, so what I've done is I've placed two storefronts there is a white fence behind them which again is another new item from the 2.0 update and then i built a cliff behind it's a three no sorry a four by two behind um but i did build it out a bit more just so that i can get the items there nicely i've added in the tool shelves to make it feel a bit more industrial and then i've turned the storefronts around you can kind of see the um wanted posters behind there but um, I think they kind of add to the aesthetic of it. And then on the sides, I've added in the storefronts to the left and the right, just to make it feel a bit more like a shack rather than just front facing. And then I've just added in lots and lots of different items that kind of fit with that theme, with the boat, the party lights and things like that. But I really, really like this setup. You could obviously change it to your style. Maybe it's a farm, so you could change up the items, change up the colors. And I think it works really well. Just a nice little style standalone building that you could put anywhere on your island. For number two, I wanted to try and make something that was a bit more elegant and not so rustic, which was kind of hard because these are very much a rustic item. Oh, hello, Bettina. <laughs> Enjoy that butterfly. So I went with the white because that screamed kind of more elegance to me. So I've used the two storefronts at the back and then at the top I have used three store fronts that are turned around but I've played around a bit with the dimensions because I've tried to make them as wide as the decorative pillars and then in the middle I put the street lamp the round one which is really nice just as like a focal point and then behind the store fronts to give it a bit more height on the bottom layer I've added in the tokonoma tokonomo tokonoma I think that's how you say it um just to give it a bit more height and the cream kind of fits with the colors that I'm going for and then I've added in some triangular toperies just for a bit of kind of greenery but you could do something like this along a whole like back wall or maybe just have it stand alone like this turn it into something like a bakery or a shop etc um but just have a play around don't be afraid to kind of experiment play with depths and heights and things and you'll find something that works I'm sure Next up for number three, we've got another little standalone house or hut or a building that is done quite simply with an Azumea gazebo in the center, which you can purchase from your Nook Miles shop. And then around the outside, we have the storefronts pretty much just covering it, as you can kind of see here. And it works really nicely because the gazebo really does look like a thatched roof, which again, very rustic. I really, really like that. They come in a few different colors if you wanted to change it up a bit. I first saw this design on alex.crossing underscore islands um, recent island that we toured on stream and I loved it I think that they're great she had a few dotted around her island and they looked really really good again perfect for a farm or maybe like a little village that you've got building and it's so simple to do so if some of these seem a little bit daunting don't worry there are definitely some simple simpler builds in here for you 
Next up, I have a super easy and simple build again. And this is a garden shed or a farm shed. It's so easy to do, but it's really, really effective and a really nice little build to add anywhere where you may have some sort of gardening going on. So all I've done is I've added in store two storefronts either side facing inwards and then in the middle I've put a storage shed just to give it some kind of roof there I know it's on a lower level but I struggled to find something that was the same height I've put a fence at the back just to add some kind of height to the the rear of the build but at the front here all I've done is I've added two simple panels with some barn door designs on it and then just decorated around the outside how easy is that so I really really do expect to see some more sheds on your island like this this is great if you wanted to kind of save on design slots for stalls if you want if you're worried about your custom design slots and you've got some storefronts lying around don't worry about customizing the stools and just go ahead and use these because they work perfectly in at number five i want to do something a bit more warm maybe like slightly more like mediterranean so what i've done is i've incorporated it in some of the medieval building sides really love this item and i think they kind of work quite well with the storefronts as well so what i've done here on the bottom layer i've added in two storefronts either side and then i've put another storefront in the middle i've gone with a different color just to break it up a bit and i've turned it around and then up on the top i've added in the clothesline the plant partitions and i've just kind of pushed back one of the medieval building sides just again to give it a bit of depth and it allowed me to kind of move the clothesline back a bit but i really like these warm tones but again if you're used to making big buildings on your islands with simple panels this is a great way to go and don't be afraid to mix up the storefronts with other kind of building materials or building panels that we have now so you could mix them up with simple panels you could use the medieval side walls or the castle items it would all look really really great together and i love the fact that if you put the cliff behind you can just have some items peeking out over the top so as here you can just see the greenery from the plant petitions coming over the edge there and it's at the perfect height for the medieval side wall window as well so i really really love that for number six i wanted to do sort of like an alleyway or a street view using the storefronts to me this feels quite like western inspired but i really really love it i've been seeing a lot of people using like alleyways and things particularly using the medieval side walls but this is a bit of a mix up on that it's very very rustic quite farmy but it's a nice way if you have a area where you're like i don't know what to put here but there's kind of a transitional area then this might be the way to go as you can see all i've done is i've added in the storefronts to the back where the um, incline is and then on the sides i've added in more storefronts to give it a bit of height and change it up a bit so it isn't so samey i've used the retro bus stops um i think they're called and then the fences as well and then I've just added in some items that you might see in like a town square. I know the wheat is a bit of a um, outlier there, but it, it's cute. And I think it kind of works. And then just added some custom designs. But I'm sure if you did decide to do an alleyway or kind of like an area like this, you could add in your custom designs and it would look wonderful. Um, I really like it. It feels kind of cozy. So yeah, there you go. An alleyway. Next up for number seven, I decided to make kind of like a farmhouse type area. This on my old island was where I had um, a farmer's market and this is a really, really nice kind of space. So I've gone three storefronts wide on the bottom. Again, I've played around with the dimensions. I've pulled the middle one forward so you get a bit of depth. And then on the upper layer where the cliff is, what I've done is I put two storefronts on the left and one on the right and then I've put two storefronts together to give it like a bit of like a roof idea like a main kind of tower center piece and then behind that I've added in two simple panels which I thought just broke the build up a bit and I quite like the idea of using it as the depth there 
and then on the left and the right I've turned two storefronts as well just to give it like a, a bit of a porch kind of idea but I really really like this you can kind of see where I've done it um, I like the mixture of the colors of the storefronts as well but you could all do it in one color that would work really nicely again you could use this for a number of different things but it's just a nice standalone build slightly larger than the other ones that I've shown you so you will need a few more storefronts but I really really like this one Next up we have another similar idea from the one that I showed you earlier and this is just putting a pergola in the centre of some storefronts. So as you can see here, there it is, there's a pergola but it makes a really really nice roof. Feels like overgrown but it still works nicely because there's peaks of the wood coming through from the ivy which I really really like. If you're doing like more of a spring island then maybe you could use the white storefronts with one of the coloured pergolas that would look really really cute. I've chosen to go for the rustic look again mainly because I had so many of this brown colour storefronts but I really like it again another simple build that you can just dot around your island and it's it works it's still really really effective. I think that's the great great kind of point about these items you can't really go wrong with whatever you do with them so they're a wonderful item to work with for number nine I'm just going to show you an old build that I did from my auto and farm core island but I really really like it and I think it works it's super simple um, and really easy to do this was for my canning area like a producing like <laughs> preservatives and things I don't know really what my inspiration was behind that but if you look over in the back here you can see what I've done is I've added two storefronts one forward facing and one horizontal and then I've just put a tank in behind there and it's just a really nice kind of little industrial build you could definitely expand on this make it more of like a factory kind of design maybe I don't know make it like a western rustic kind of factory which would be cool and definitely a little bit different um but i just think it works nicely and the fact that you can just see like the tank half of it is quite cool definitely something to incorporate in like a farm build or something like that i really really like the idea of this um it could work with like a silo or something um yeah the possibilities are kind of endless with these storefronts so just another one to show you and finally for number 10 I'm just going really really simple I've just got two storefronts on the bottom and two at the top I've gone for different colors just to change it up a bit make it look like separate houses all you have to do here is add a cliff in behind but what I've done at the back just to kind of finish it off is add in two different storefronts facing backwards so it gives you that full roof appearance so i really really like that super simple if you've got a little farm build or maybe you just want some like storefronts just to fill an area this is a great way to go and you can make it look fully complete and then just add some nice items around the outside as i've done here just to finish off the whole look for the build i added in the windmill to keep it a bit farmy feeling so there you go so guys that's the end of the video let me know in the comments what you're going to do with the storefronts or what you've already done if you're part of the discord don't forget to post your pictures i would love to see them and while i'm here don't forget to like and subscribe i hope you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful i'll see you again soon with another one Bye bye